It's funny you see how like people seem to think that uh being on the internet makes you so open and, and you know so many things, but then you see how segmented, even on Twitch, on a singular website, you see how segmented communities are and how they know nothing about each other. <laughs> So incredibly bubbled. I've always thought of YouTubers as essentially the same as no cam streamers who happen to have a funny little cartoon themselves hanging out instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, I would say, right. VTubers are closer to no fa face cam streamers. Actually, a lot of people that were streamers with no face cam had a little PNG, a little character drawn and threw it in the corner and did that for a long time just for the sake of branding. As VTubing became more accessible, a lot of them did get like a little model or something, you know, but they, they don't really uh, identify as someone who's like in the VTuber community. They're not in that bubble. There's no requirement there to, to be any of those things. And it's all the same, in my opinion, it's all the same. He said, it's true because GTA RP watchers are GTA RP watchers. That's basically their most, uh, most their entertainment. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're very, you can tell they're very focused on, on just GTA because it's their soap opera. <laughs> But I understand because me too, like I watch a lot too and I love it. And then and then it's the same, yeah, with, with VTuber watchers uh, because the VTubing scene, so many VTubers there, communities are so intertwined. They're always talking to each other. They're always doing things with each other. There's their metas, their story arcs, whatever. I'm just, th these people know those people. And that's what happens when everyone knows each other in a community, right, to some extent. And what happens is uh, the viewers get really invested in that community. And a lot of people fall into the same way there's a GTA rabbit hole, there's a VTuber rabbit hole. And the, the big difference is just that it's not living within one game. Like most GTA RPers would make good VTubers. Uh, yeah, I think a good number of them would. I think a good number of them would. It's different though, because when you are playing GTA, there's a world set up for you and you're role playing within it. When you're a VTuber, uh, it's like handing, putting someone on stage, handing them a hat and a little cape and a stick and being like, make a scenario. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, there are fewer things helping you out. There's, in fact, there's nothing helping you out. I, I don't want to say GTA RP is easier, but uh, it kind of is from the acting perspective. Then again, some of them are so good at it. They're so used to it that they, yeah, they would make great VTubers, especially people good at voices. Watch many of the V shows on the Minecraft server, but I've also watched them them Bricky streaming. I've noticed this over time. The stuff that people get most involved, uh, not involved, invested in. It's streamers' relationships to each other and watching certain people do things together. The social dynamics people just really want to keep up on. I didn't realize how strong it was until I got into V Shoujo and suddenly there were all these people that cared way more about like my interactions with the members and stuff. And I was like, Ooh. They really care, huh? <laughs> they, they're really like, I don't know, some people are like insane about it. Not even in a bad way, I'm just saying they're very invested. And I'm like, wow, this is a this is a whole beast, huh? <laughs> a whole separate beast. Some VTubers who do art music and similar content find it hard for others to take them and their content seriously. So she said she's gonna have to eventually show her real self because artists don't take her art seriously when they find out she's a VTuber. Yeah, that, that actually is an issue with VTubing. Some people don't take you seriously. Now, if you just didn't use a model and you were a no face cam streamer and did the same exact thing, they usually would. Personally, I just think if you show up and you carry yourself well, that shouldn't be that big of an issue. There will always be some people that don't take you seriously, but I don't think it will be that many. I would like to bring up another factor. For some of my friends, they have um, they have, they have this kind of issue. A lot of VTubers have voices that are a little higher in pitch or a little cuter or whatever. Uh, a little cute accent, right? The word cute comes up because it's just that sort of thing. Whether you're a VTuber or not, people will infantilize that. They do it IRL. They do it IRL. I see it in the workplace when I was working full time. Some girl would get on the call and she's a professional. That's, I said some girl, but really it's some woman, right? A woman would get on a call and she would know exactly what she's talking about. She would do her work so well, but she'd be like, hey guys. And they'd be like, mm -hmm. and they'd treat her like, like a fucking baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes they meant really well, but they would still do that. It's not always a VTuber thing. Sometimes it's very much like a people just treating women that sound Sound maybe a little younger or seem cuter as if they're actually fucking babies. I, I feel like, like, does that make sense? I feel like that date is a little skewed. And it seems like a VTuber thing, but it's more that like people like that make good VTubers. So it skews things in that direction that a lot of VTubers that will do well will be people with these interesting voices and especially things that are cuter in general. People love watching in the VTubing sphere, right? So those people grow and then they run into that issue of being treated differently. And I think it's not always, it seems like it's because they're VTubers, but I personally think it's not always because they're VTubers. It's because people are fucking weird to people with those kinds of voices and demeanors in general. I don't know how many of you have seen it, but I'm sure most of you have. 
<laughs> in the workplace or IRL. I have a one one friend from school who just has the cutest voice in the world and she can't help it. She can't help it. She doesn't even have a cute accent or method of speech. She speaks very seriously and very professionally. It's just it's just higher pitched and she's got this timbre to her voice that just sounds real cute and that's it. And uh, her whole life she's had huge issues with this kind of stuff. People being fucking weird toward her because her voice sounds like that, you know? I have a voice like Bibu in a workplace like that. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. A lot of people just have voices like that straight up. <laughs> Men with high voices do get infantilized as well. Yep, for sure, for sure. I'm just using that example because a lot of female VTubers with those kinds of voices are the ones that bring it up and say, oh, we get treated weirdly because we're VTubers. But my argument is that mm, I think you would get treated like this if you were no face cam streamer as well because your voice is what it is and people are weird about it. Not that person's fault. I'm just saying I think that's the... A bigger causation. Not that both can't be a little true, though. If folks would just stop making it weird, that's impossible. <laughs> that's impossible. People always will make everything weird. You kind of have to walk through life knowing that people always make things weird. People always make assumptions. You know, that's just how it is. Smartest person in our finance department is like five feet, high pitched voice, and everyone just says how cute she is and don't listen to her. Yeah. <laughs> look at what happened to Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's a really, really good example, actually. Yeah. Look at how much Mike Tyson has been like dunked on in media because of his voice. And they always write up these scenarios that make him seem soft. When that dude is hard as fuck, he'll kill someone. You know what I mean? <laughs> that guy, yeah, you bit a man's ear off. That dude will go and, and go crazy. And then they'll still make like cartoons of him being like a little baby. And I'm like, what? It's the voice, man. They're crazy. And people need to remind themselves every streamer, every VTuber, every musician is normal human should be treated like one even if the role plays anything online, they're still humans. Ah, oh, people get so lost in the sauce though. People people see um, a streamer act a certain way, being a little goofy, and they're just like, well, that's who they are. They're just like, that's who they are. Uh, you know, I've watched them for a few hours every day, which means I know 95% of everything about them and how they act. And like people really, there's no object permanence, right? They just see what's in front of them and they're like, that's it. I guarantee you most people, they're just hamming it up for entertainment, but they know it's stupid. If they're just sitting next to you on a bus, they're not gonna say any of that shit. That's not who they are in other situations. It's just who they are in that scenario. I saw one clip and everything about them. No, I think I think it's like people they they watch these people a lot and they think that makes them like knowledgeable on them. But I'm saying even that doesn't doesn't count. This it, right now I'll tell you meeting people in a way where you're talking to like me as a creator. I'm talking to another creator on Discord and just having a conversation with them. Hundred percent different. Even if I speak to them kind of the same way, there's a lot of there's a lot of difference. In, in the feeling there, in the interaction, for sure. And it's not, no, it's not fake. So I was like, they're fake? No. None of it is fakeness. It's just that people act differently in different situations. You know how you act one way in front of your family? You act a different way at work? You act a different way in front of your friends? You would also act a different way in front of a camera on stream. People forget that everyone code switch. <laughs> yeah, personality four. I think you'll see it with streamers too. Sometimes they'll use like personality A with stream and personality A is really meant more for like family or something. They'll like say a sentence and it'll sound a little different because they're just using a different tone. And people will be like, oh my God, the mask slipped. <laughs> they'll say dramatic stuff like that. They'll be like, oh, we saw That's them so slip for a moment. And I'm like, what, it's this it's it's the same as picking up the phone and answering it like you're like you're going hello to a family member and then someone goes it's your boss and you go oh sorry right like it's the same <laughs> oh yeah real voice reveal oh my god i'll tell you right now when i wake up i sound a certain way by the end of the day i sound a different way i'm pretty sure everyone has that mm, i see they stopped hiding their voice <laughs> like what it's insane man it's insane